Well, good morning. Welcome back to City Line, where we are celebrating the sweetest things that you can find here locally for Valentine's Day. And with me are two amazing gentlemen that come from a candy family like none other. And I'm talking about Johnson Candy Company. So please join me in welcoming Mr. Ron Johnson. You are the owner of Johnson Candy Company. Is that correct? Yes, it is. That is. And this handsome man next to you is Bill Johnson. I'm guessing, and I know for a fact, the son, yep. um, and also a candy maker at Johnson Candy Company. Welcome back, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Good to have you here. We were talking about it. it was either spring or summer of uh, 2017 that we had you here, and you had some great stories uh, about how all of this started. So take us back to the beginning of the family business for people who didn't see our previous segment. How did Johnson Candy Company get its start? Well, my dad started making candy in the fountain lunch. My, my, his dad, my grandfather, had a fountain lunch on K Street. And uh, my dad um, sold a lot of um, candy bars as well as fountain lunch food. And uh, he decided that maybe it'd be just as easy to make the candy himself and maybe it'd be better than the candy bars. So that's what he did. I love that. Mm -hmm. And and your dad, uh, well, actually, your dad was Russell Johnson. Is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. But his father was Lewis Johnson. Yes. And that was the first Johnson that started this. Is that correct? Well, he started the, he he, he had the fountain lunch, which which was the. Uh, oh, here it is. We have a picture of it here, the fountain lunch, it looks like. Oh, that's that right? my dad in the picture there. Yeah. That's your dad. I love and my mother, that. My mother is uh, right, right beside him, right behind him. Okay, that's mm -hmm. perfect. Look at that. And, mm -hmm. and this is? This is my dad delivering candy in the station wagon. I love the station mm -hmm. wagon. And that's me when I was around six years old. Look at you, you little that's, whippersnapper. That's, that's in front of our fountain lunch. And, and that's your mom. my mother. Irene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love this. And the candy store that... The second candy store we had. The first one was 1925, but this is my dad had this building built 1949. That's the current one. The current one. Yeah. That's the current one. Yeah, Absolutely. before. That's right down the road from our studio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I drive by all the time, and like, yeah. I can smell the chocolate coming out mm -hmm. of that place. Oh, look at that's a great picture. Yes, hand dipping the chocolates. It almost feels like a I Love Lucy rerun in that yeah. picture. <laughs> that's the man that taught me to make candy. Uh, he's a man that we hired during the World War II oh. uh, at Dad and I in the candy store. Look at that. That's a mm -hmm. fabulous picture. So let's um, tell us about the end of the lunch counter, and then let's just move ourselves forward to where we are now. Well, um, When when he built, I mean, he built the candy mm -hmm. store in 1949. Like I said, yeah, I think he just decided to just move exclusively into making chocolates, and and um, you know, I don't know much about how he ended the the lunch counter business, but uh, probably got so busy with yeah. the chocolates, it was like, okay, the lunch counter business has to well, go away because people want this. Well, it was it was uh, quite demanding on time too. My yes. mother and dad only had Sundays off, and oh. they were. They worked themselves you know, very, very hard in there. So the, the candy business was a lot easier because they did have weekends off. And Absolutely. But only Sundays. So they work six days a week. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. What was your first job in the candy store? Well, mopping floors. There we go. Yeah, like, oh. like most sons. And was that your first job too as well? Yeah, it's still, yeah. And I, <laughs> it's still I, your I'm, job. I'm still mopping floors there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's so good at it, we kept him doing it. So there we there we go. So when did you enter the business? Well, I mean, I probably started mopping floors when I was, you know, 10, 11, 12 years old there. So I love that. You know, that's when I first started in uh, taking candy off the Rover, which is the conveyor belt machine, which is, you know, from the I Love Lucy episode. You yes, know. Yeah. that's what that's when called. When you get behind, you have to start eating them. So <laughs> yeah. stuffing them in all the places you right, can. Right. Right. So. I mean, because you, you are born, as you were, into a candy business. Do you ever remember a time when you weren't in that candy shop? I mean, not really. No. Not really. Yeah. It's always been like yeah, that. Yeah, you just kind of grow up, you know, that's just your life when you grow up in the candy business. You know? And do you have children? 
I have a three-year-old and a six-year-old. Are they going to take over the candy business? Oh, we'll see. We'll see. You know, it's up to them. I, I can imagine for like holidays, you've given them like little brooms and mops to kind of get them used to what's going to happen here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to when they can uh, <laughs> they can pick up the real mop. So. I love that. So, what are wh what is Johnson Candy doing for Valentine's Day at the store? Give us a little preview because you know we ha oh that's a great shot. We have to that, come in and have that. That's really what Valentine's is about for us is the pack boxes. We yes. do a lot of of custom packs. People can bring in their own boxes and have them packed. A lot of people have saved boxes over the years and bring them in year after year and have them Oh packed. my gosh. Some people have a big five pound boxes packed of hearts. Wow. Like that. So our packers are very busy at Valentine's Day. I love um, that. You know, and we also have uh, pre-packed boxes. These ones right here. Pre so, I love the tie. You know. The tie, the tie is fabulous. Yeah. I mean, because. Those are very popular. I bet they are yeah. because, I mean, it's a misnomer, but come on, men like candy too. They do. Look at the two of you right in front of me right here. They like chocolate. So you have uh, one of my favorite ice cream bars. Um, are they coming back? We have them all the time. Do you? Okay, oh, yeah. all right. Okay, I must have had a day there. When... My, my dad, he, he still dips all the chocolate I, bars himself. I'm a candy so. bar dipper now. You yeah. still dip them. Mm -hmm. So if, yeah. if, if we're out of something, then you got to talk to him about it. Well, then I'm, now I know who to go to. Absolutely. Right. All right, that, that works for me. So um, let's remind folks where you are located because we saw the picture and I said it's next to the studio, but mm -hmm. where exactly is it? It's 924 MLK. Okay. Right, then, right between the hospitals. So corner of 10th and MLK. I love that. Yeah. And people bring in their own boxes year after year. How long does mm -hmm. it take to, to pack my own box, like a five pound box of candy? How long does it take? Mm -hmm. Well, if it's a five pound one, then you better leave it for a little while. Because that, that might take a little, yeah. a little in, you know, to make sure we have enough of an assortment of what you like. But, um, you know, the, the small boxes can be back, packed pretty quick while you wait, so. I love that. Yeah. So are all the operations contained in that location? All of our, everything we make is made there. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's a pretty, you, let's talk about some of the streamlining you've seen over the years, because when you first started out in this business, the space looked like it was bigger than it is now, is that correct? Yes, yeah. It, uh, well, it's it's just say that. the the buildings is it's actually bigger now than it was. Okay. Yeah, it was expanded a bit. There's, I mean, there's a couple um, rental spaces in the building, but it's still it's still a pretty big. So a pretty big operation. Pretty big building, but I mean, it's a small operation as far as, I mean, you're looking at the candy makers. You're that's right, it right here. Right here. Uh, we have yeah. Anne as our hand dipper, you know, and um, but other than that, you know, we make most of the candy ourselves. Which so. is a lost art, isn't it? I mean, we all can think of the famous chains of candy that you walk into the mall and get. Um, and if, if you've never tried your candy, it is like night and day. Well, it's a, it's a great Valentine's gift, too, is a, yes. is a, a small local handmade box of chocolates. So, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so w what's your favorite candy? Well, mine is uh, peanut clusters. And that's, I help Bill make those and uh, coconut clusters, mm. but uh, uh, sea salt caramel and uh, the caramel with uh, the almonds on top, the open face caramel. Oh, yeah. Dipped in chocolate, you know, I, I like, like that a lot. Yeah. Okay, I'm salivating. What about you? What's your favorite? I like the dark mint truffles a lot, mm -hmm. you know, any of the dark truffles. What do you are... not prefer? Um, you know, I, I like pretty much everything. I'm not a, you know, I mean, there's things I like less than others. Yes, but, you know, exactly. There's, there's nothing I really don't really care for. Don't really care for because yeah. you've probably tried everything, haven't you? I'm not a big licorice fan. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah. so it's licorice. licorice. Yeah. Yeah. That's that one thing. So what about you? What yeah. do you not prefer? Well, I would say the um, the Jelly Bellies that everybody seems to love. It's <laughs> not, not my favorite. That's not candy, is it? No, it's well, it's 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 flavorful, but. Uh, but, uh, but I've, I really but, don't prefer but that. the grandkids love them. So. The grandkids love yeah, them. Yeah. So what's, what is the most popular item that you have year-round in the store? Well, the sea salt caramels is very popular. Okay. And any of the caramels. And, and then the, the turtles, which is the pecan and caramel. I love that. Those are the two that we really try to have all the time and, and that really sell, okay. sell the best, I'd okay. say. Yeah. 
And let's talk about the recipes. Let's not give the recipe away, but let's no. talk about the recipe. How yeah. old are some of these recipes? Well, in, in, uh, in the late 30s, my dad went downtown to this great candy maker and asked him if he uh, had any recipes he could share with him. And the candy maker says, well, he was going out of business, so he said, for $100, I'll give you all my candy recipes. And that was a lot of money so, back then. Yeah, yes. Uh -huh. And uh, so basically, I, I would bet that's more than half of our recipes are from that I candy store. That. They, they were really good candy, res candy recipes. Yeah. Well, we still use the same old recipes from, you know. And then, then we hired uh, this fellow named Senator Finley, who had a candy store downtown. And he was also retiring, so uh, but Dad's he, Dad got his recipes and he, and hired him too. Oh, I so love he worked that. for us for 25, 30 years as our candy maker. So, I love that. And he's the one that taught me to make candy. So, so what new recipes have you developed? If I walked in and said I want to taste something that either you have made or you have made, where would you direct me? You know, we, I, I'm right now. We're pretty much just keeping keeping the, keeping the close old, to tradition. The old-fashioned candies and that stock. works. It's not yeah. broke. Don't fix yeah. it. Yeah, right. I mean, there's been some new flavors and stuff of truffles, but uh, nothing, you know, terribly innovative. So well, and it yeah. is, and it's not like again, it's not broke. Don't fix it. You yeah. have such amazing candy that um, it's it's already stood the test of time. Right. Absolutely. So let's give hours here because I know that you take more than just Sunday off. I hope you do. Oh yes, I. Oh yes. Well, I, I get to go home around one o'clock now, so. But he he still comes in every day. So. I love that. Yeah. I think Bill likes it when I leave. So <laughs> I, <he> just, <laughs> probably not as much as he does, but. Yeah. There we yeah. go. I mean, I don't know how you guys do it because right. family can be sticky enough, but you guys uh, make it look real easy. Yeah. So, I want to say thank you so much to both of you for the legacy that you continue to operate every single day when you unlock that door. Um, and to all the families out there that have grown up uh, with your candy and all the kids who are going to discover your candy and then really understand what real sweet confectioners taste like. So thank you so much for all that you do for us. No, right. well, and I want to see you back here again, all right? Yeah, thanks right. for having us on. Deal? Okay, yeah. good. Yes, thank you. Yeah. When we come back in these seats, we're going to have OCD candy. And you don't want to miss that. We'll be right back after this short break. <laughs>